to follow up on my analysis from yesterday, it said that if we were to get this daily close below the value area high, that we can look to the 20.8K level as our first support. We can see that we front ran it here and got a touch to the dollar here. And we've also been holding the 618 as support on an hourly basis. So we can see we've been wicking down below and then holding it as support. I would like to see a move down to the point of control here for then a close above the weekly or even the 618 for a swing failure pattern to show a good reaction, a strong reaction, good volume, uh, increase in demand and buying power. Uh, however, I have not entered a long yet. I didn't like this long and I do not like this one now either. Uh, like I said, I would like to see a touch on the point of control here for then that swing failure pattern, a change in market structure, right? Where we get the move up, we come back down, retest, find support for then the move up to this untapped daily and the value area high. In the event that these levels are lost, we can look to this area as our next level of support. However, if we do get a move down here, I would find it very unlikely that we'll break through here in the near term. I'd also like to follow up on my ES1 analysis from yesterday. We talked about this channel a little bit and I had said that with every rotation to the bottom, we've had a rotation to the top from the bottom, a failed auction bottom to the top, bottom now to the top again. Said it's likely given the respect that this channel has had that we would get a move down to the first uh, one to one extension and the middle of the channel and possibly even the one six one eight. And in the event that it were to break up above that this weekly key weekly level was a massive, massive resistance, support, 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 broken through flip to resistance. So in the event that we were to get that move up, I said that this is just an absolutely massive resistance. Um, however, this move down could most certainly affect our move on Bitcoin, being that Bitcoin has found some degree of support and we'd be looking for a move up. Um, it has to be taken in, in caution, knowing that ES1 is also here uh, looking to possibly get a move down it is possible that we find support here and maybe that's uh, at the same time Bitcoin finds support around its 19.8 K level 0.6 level um, and again S&P 500 and Bitcoin don't have to move hand in hand candle for candle so you know we have to analyze these both separately but understand that they do affect one another right so again, on the S&P, we are looking for that move down and we can see we are getting started on that. And then on Bitcoin here, we have found support. I would say this is a very great level of support, by the way. We have the 618, the 66, an untapped weekly and the point of control. I think this, this is a very fair uh, level of support to long for some degree of a move up, right? Possibly even to this untapped daily and the value area high but do proceed with caution and, and, and do take profit along the way. Look for a change in market structure before entering our long here. And be aware that we do have this level to the downside in the event that we do get that downturn, in which case we can just look to continue you know, rotating this range.